there and welcome. This is Bill Joel for Trade Joel featuring Jeff Jr. My name is Rusty Humphries. We really appreciate you being here. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification so you make sure you don't miss any of the shows. Uh, TrajanWealth.com is the website, but we got some uh, pretty fascinating stuff coming up, and we have a series on this because you've just started a new business. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But I have no idea what you do or what it does. And I thought, I'm probably not the only one that doesn't really have much of a clue on this right. one. Right. Um, it's kind of one of those things where you die, you have a will, hopefully you did it right. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't. Yeah, that's and right. that's kind of mm -hmm. what Trajan Estate is all about, right? right. right. That, that's right. Well, we have Trajan Wealth, which is a full-service financial planning firm. Mm -hmm. And then we started Trajan Estate very recently. And what Trajan Estate is, is a law firm. And one thing that a lot of people... So are you a lawyer? I'm not a lawyer, but we. Okay. But the CEO of Trajan Estate is a lawyer. Okay. And we'll actually introduce him here in a minute. But uh, Trajan Wealth is a full-service financial planning firm. And as a financial planning firm, we do the investment side of the, uh, of the business. Right. But... Trajan Estate falls so nicely in line with Trajan Wealth because it's really an extension of what happens to those investments if something goes wrong. Right. Um, you know, one thing that I've known that a lot of people don't know is that a will doesn't avoid probate. It doesn't? Most, most people for years thinks, think that a, a will actually avoids probate, where in fact it doesn't. So that's where a properly structured trust is going to help carry on the finances for future generations. I mean, I kind of thought you could just write a little thing in the back of an envelope, right. make sure my money right. goes to my, you know, this goes to my kids, and that, that wouldn't It help. just doesn't work that right. way. And, and that's why it's so important to have a properly structured trust. And it sounds like, you know, what you've done, you know, with people is you've had to go and hire lawyers and kind of work with outside groups and now you've kind of figured out a way and there's a law that changed right that that's you were right. able to bring it all in house Th that's right so now there's an ability for a non attorney such as myself to be able to own a law practice mm -hmm. now the challenge just becomes finding a <coughs> qualified attorney that you can partner with that right. you really trust with with the business and, and we've done that right. uh, I've actually used Kent Phelps of uh, Phelps estate for uh, about a year and we've worked very closely together and um, we, we trust him to help our clients continue with their trust planning needs. So basically you said, you know what, I'm going to go get the best guy, I'll mm -hmm. work with him for a while, make sure he's good, and then start this new company up and, and hire the best guy to work with us. That's right. Yep. Okay. That's right. Who understands our business? Because there's mm -hmm. a lot of facets to the business. I mean, it's, just, it, it's not as easy just bringing in financial planning and doing a trust and calling it a day. You know, right. there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, coordination that has right. to happen. You probably don't want a uh, real estate attorney <laughs> coming right. in and doing right. this, right? Sure. Entertainment right. attorney. Right. Probably right. not the right guy. Yeah, that's right. So um, one of the things I know you wanted to talk about on this show, because it's important, are the mistakes that people make, and there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm, there are. I, to be honest, I don't even, I'd probably be a great uh, test case on mistakes because I probably do all of them. But let's talk to your expert. What's his name? Kent Phelps. Kent Phelps. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's bring mm -hmm. him in. So, Kent, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself to start? Sure. Uh, I'm a second generation estate planning attorney. I actually grew up working in my father's estate planning law firm. Uh, I even have a brother who's an estate planning attorney. So I guess you could say that it's the family runs business. In the blood. Mm -hmm. It runs in the blood. It does. Uh, I've been practicing for about 25 years now and uh, estate planning is all I do. Mm -hmm. Great. So I know you've been working with Trajan Wealth for about a year before we formed Trajan Estate. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about why you feel trusts are so important? Yeah, um, t to me it goes beyond the legal principles behind trust, which we can talk about you know later, I guess. But really, it's about trying to plan in such a way that we minimize things like family conflict mm -hmm. and that we pass family values on to the next generation. And so there's this sort of holistic component to trust planning that really speaks to me. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's a lot of mistakes that people make when it comes yeah. to planning their estate. What would you say are some of the most common mistakes that you see out there? Uh, the most common mistake is not having a plan. Right, right. Uh, honestly, uh, what happens is that people, as they get a little bit older, they start to feel like, you know what, I really should do this. Mm -hmm. And um, and they procrastinate. Mm -hmm. So I guess procrastination really, to me, is the biggest mistake that I see. Um, 
not having a plan is actually choosing to have the plan that the government has established mm -hmm. for right. you. Right. And the question is, is the plan that the government has created for you, is that really what you want? Mm -hmm. Right. And for most people, the answer is no. No, absolutely not. Yeah. You know, and another thing that I noticed working with a lot of clients is I have a lot of our clients who actually add their kids just simply to their accounts, you know, to their bank accounts. So they figure if they pass away, will my kids have access to my account? Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, you bet. So. <clears throat> The mistake here is that when you put your child's name on your account, you have just made your child's creditors your creditors. Mm -hmm. So if your child gets into a car accident and gets sued, then your account is on the map for right. that creditor and, and can be taken away from you because of your child's creditor problems. Your child files bankruptcy. Uh, that account now can go into the bankruptcy estate and be distributed to your child's creditors. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest problem with putting your child on your account as an owner signer of right. your account. Now there's sort of a uh, a way that you can cheat that and that's to name your child as what's called a POD or payable on death beneficiary of your account. Now it's true that your child now is not an owner so you're not subject to your child's creditors but the problem here is that what if you don't die but you're just incapacitated. Mm -hmm. Your child being a payable on death beneficiary of your account does not give your child authority to be able to use your funds for your benefit during your incapacitation. Mm -hmm. Got it. And I know I'd imagine uh, there's a few people out there saying, I don't need a trust. I don't have enough money or I don't have enough assets. Can you talk to that a little bit about who really needs to hire an attorney? Yeah, you bet. Um, so the question here is, do you just need a will or do you need a trust? Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do with the trust to begin with, this is where we start, not where we end with the trust, but, but the simple objective of avoiding probate, meaning we're avoiding the scenario where after you die, your children or your heirs have to go to court in order to get your money. And they have to deal with your creditors and they have to give notice and they have to uh, wait uh, on the court system to finalize your, your estate. Well, um, the, the problem with a will is that a will does not avoid probate. And so if you want to avoid probate, typically you need a trust. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if you've only got $10,000 to your name and uh, you don't have a home, you rent, uh, and you've got an autom automobile, well, we can help you with a will and still avoid probate in that situation. But most people uh, are going to need a trust if they want to avoid probate. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that we always talk about at Trajan Wealth specifically is just investment planning. You know, we talk about making sure that their investments work properly and work the best for them. And with Trajan Estate, it's still about planning. It's just about taking it to the next level. You know, in, in the Marine Corps, we always had six Ps. We talked about the six Ps all the time. I'm only going to mention five, but what, what the five Ps are is proper planning prevents poor performance. Mm -hmm. And that's very true with not only the Trajan wealth and your investments, but also the estate, the estate side, right? Yep. So tell us a little bit about how much does it cost to, to, to work with Trajan Estate? How does that... Uh, how does that work? Yeah, so uh, our fees are middle of the market. You'll find some law firms that charge more than we do. You'll find some that charge less. Most of the law firms that charge less than we do are not focused exclusively on estate planning the way that we are. Mm -hmm. uh, they're doing divorce law. They're doing bankruptcy law. They're doing personal injury law. And then they're doing a little bit of trust work or will work on the side. Uh, and so we are exclusively focused on estate planning. It's all we do in our firm. And uh, our fees are, are reasonable, as I said. They're, they're middle of the market. Great, wonderful. So if you're considering a trust or if you're just considering getting your investments managed correctly, consider both Trajan Wealth and Trajan Estate. And also I think coming from this, remember the five Ps. Proper planning prevents poor performance. So with that in mind, this is Kent Phelps. I'm Jeff Jr. We'll see you next time. Kent seems like a good guy. Kent's a great guy, he is. So mm -hmm. um, what we learned in that last one was, first of all, if you don't have a lot of money, you still should probably get a will and do something to be prepared, right? Absolutely. If, if you have something
Um, a trust is important because... Well, if you have something that's worth protecting, you know, mm -hmm. just imagine, just look at how long you've worked to uh, have this money. Right. You know, you, you've worked many years, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years to accumulate a certain amount of assets. Right. And I imagine your first 20 years of working, you didn't have anything. You were just building up to that stage. So having a properly structured trust is going to be incredibly important because the last thing that you want to do is give your money away, right? Okay. There's a lot more about this subject that we should probably talk about. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to do a few more shows on this particular subject. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right away. You don't want to miss that. Make sure you get notified. Hit the little bell so you make sure you're notified for the next episode of Build Your Wealth with Trajan Wealth featuring Jeff Jr. I'm Rusty Humphreys. And for Jeff Jr. and the wonderful people at Trajan Wealth, by the way, have you gone to TrajanWealth.com to have one of Jeff's advisors help you? You should do that. Uh, we sure appreciate you. We'll catch you next time here on Build Your Wealth with Trade Your Wealth featuring Jeff <laughs>